what is going on guys we are in pigeon forge and we are at downtown flavor town this is guy fieri's restaurant here in pigeon forge they had a second one in gatlinburg but it closed don't know why so we're gonna go in and try this one see if it lives up to the hype you guys ready let's go do this so as you walk in the front door there's guy fieri himself they have a large uh gift shop in here as well we'll come back out and check that out in just a few they have a digital menu right there that's cool it's a digital menu so we'll uh we'll show you guys this digital menu as we go as well so here is the beer menu they have freak shakes they have a celebration sunday they have tiki bar classics cocktails this guy's favorites and then on this side is the food menu. So they got shareables, soups and salads, ain't no thing but a chicken wing, big eats, big bite burgers, classic milkshakes, and big bite sandwiches. Looks like the prices range anywhere from $12 up to $30. So as you can see, we're talking into the fuzzy mic and it's because the music in here is kind of loud. So I want to see if this helps any. I don't know if it will. Jim, what do you think? Was it going to help any? I mean, it probably will with me. I talk really light. This is true. She does talk really light. So I try to boost her vocals up on the, uh, in my editor, but sometimes it doesn't work. So she just, I'm trying to like, got to speak louder, woman. Speak louder. I'm nervous and awkward. I just, it is what it is. <laughs> So anyway, we're going to be talking into a mic while we're eating, and uh, we'll see how that goes. We've never used the mic before, so this is a uh, first time for everything. Are you excited? Uh, I... The things that we see sitting in this place. It's almost like Guy Fieri just walked in the building. The hair was on point, literally. On... Very true. Very, very true. What am I, you say? No. I, was like, what, what am I, I think I, she's done talking. I'm awkward. Hashtag awkward wife. Hashtag what? Awkward wife. All right, so there we go. Mic test. So Jen ordered a pina colada. The uh, the jar actually looks like a um, a pineapple. So you want to take a sip of it and tell us what you think. Tastes like a pina colada. Is it good? It is good. Is it a frozen pina colada or is it like just a, a uh, iced pina colada? It's kind of both. It's like it was iced and now it's melty, but like it's good. It's not like bad. And there's ice in it too. And there's ice in it? Yes. There's ice in it too. I see a pineapple and a cherry. It's got little pineapples in it. There's a little cherry down in there too. Cute presentation. And it tastes good. There you go. How much was that pina colada? Do you remember? No idea. About 20 bucks? No. I don't know. 15 dollars $20. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Something like that. You ready? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Is there anything else that I can bring out for you guys right now by the looks of it? I'm good. Nope. I think we're good. Thank you. Look at this. It's about to topple over. Slow mo. So here are my trash can nachos. I got a video on my cell phone of them taking the thing off of it and it falling apart. We'll throw that in here as well. And then Jen got this. Jen, what did you get? Um, the Motley Q. Barbecue pulled pork barbecue sandwich. Motley Q. Mm -hmm. It looks really good. So it's got cheese and coleslaw and the onion straws and then french fries, pickles, and ketchup. All right, let's dig in. All right, so I got my microphone and I got my fork. I don't know if y'all can hear these jams or not, but. Spicy. 
Oh, there's spas union straws, she says. Oh, that's good. I don't want to talk about how many calories this is. I'm going to have to go home and run about five miles, but it's really good. It's really good. Like, it's really, really good. Holy cow. Wow. That is excellent. So this is also on a pretzel bun. Say again? It's a pretzel bun. No. See? Yep. Is it, it good? Is, uh, it's, I don't know. I can't get it all in one bite. <laughs> It's so much, there's so much on here. <laughs> Good. Mm hmm Yeah. The microphone's picking up your nods. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's loose marbles in there. It didn't say anything. So there we go. She says hers is good. Mine is excellent. We'll be back. So I just want to say that my trash can nachos may be one of the best things that I've had in Pigeon Forge ever. Um, when the chicken guy was up in Gatlinburg, Brian and I ate there, and uh, I really enjoyed that. I thought it was good. Uh, I hate that it actually closed, uh, but this is the first time we ate here. I know a lot of the vloggers came here when it opened, but this is our first time eating here, um, and it's really, really good. Like this, I think the price for these nachos was like $22. It's, you're in Pigeon Forge. You're going to pay more. That's just part of the deal. Uh, plus, you're paying for a name restaurant. But it's really, really good. And I tried Jen's uh, barbecue sandwich. I had a bite of it. And it's really good, too. Like, it's it was really, really good. So, I uh, was impressed with both of them. His nachos are better than my sandwich, though. You think so? Yeah. He got the winner this time. I just picked what I wanted. They're Nashville hot um, nachos is what I got. And uh, they're the trash can nachos. I got them without the pickled red onions. It would have been really good with the pickled red onions, too. I don't like onions, if though. You like onions. Yeah. I do. I would have liked but I did get it with extra pickles. So. The pickles are great in it, too. Yep. This is a, honestly, this is enough food to feed two people. There's, there's really no reason for one person to eat this much food. No, but it is good. It is good. If you have somebody that would eat the hot stuff with you, the Nashville hot stuff, that that's that's about what that is, right? Nashville hot, yeah. yeah. It's good. It has yeah. a good flavor. So you? I said it has good flavor. Yeah. It does have really good flavor. Yeah. It's um, it's a real. Like I said, it's a huge portion for the twenty-two dollars. Um, you could get this as an appetizer and split it between three or four people. You really could. I mean, it's it's a lot of food for for twenty bucks. So. Very, very, very good. And like I said, her sandwich is good, too. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's great. It's just the flavor of his nachos, I think, is better. If you don't like hot stuff, the Motley, the Motley Q has a trash can style nacho, too. And I think it would be really good. Um, so if you don't like hot stuff, you could go with that because it has more of a sweeter barbecue sauce on it than a hot sauce. So it's really good, too. Um, I like my sandwich. I'm going to keep eating it. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Um, but, yeah, I think the flavor of uh, his nachos is a little bit more prominent and rich so i feel like it's it tastes better that's all i would definitely get the sandwich again though so you know where they took my nachos to right to flavor town Brunch. all right so our lunch is over and now we are back over into the gift shop so they have a ton of of downtown Flavortown stuff. There's the knuckle sandwich. More downtown Flavortown shirts. Yep, there's some hats. I like the donkey saw shirt up there. It's this one here. Got a ton of stickers. There's some kid shirts. If cups. 
glasses. And then over here, they have more caps. There's actually a whole wall of caps back there. There's candy, more stickers. So we're now gonna show you the arcade, the bowling and the tiki bar. They have a really large arcade in here. Now a lot of this, if you can hear this music over top of me, I'm probably gonna have to drop some music behind this to kind of drown it out. But if you need a duck, you can get you a rubber duck. Jen's found a place over here that you can get your picture made. I don't know what I'm doing. Looking lovely, that's what you're doing. So more arcade stuff. I got some Jordans in that one. Look at these hungry, hungry hippos. Look how big they are. Holy cow. That's cool. So Walking Dead game, some Donkey Kong. There's a Nerf arcade over there. There's a Wizard of Oz coin pusher. Somebody show me where the roulette wheel is. There's Plinko. I used to love this game. When this game was on the prices, right? Plinko was my game. Connect for basketball, Bigfoot Crush. Here's a Willy Wonka coin pusher. I uh, do love me some Willy Wonka. I mean, I have a Willy Wonka tattoo, so, you know. Dodgeball Ultimate Arena. Basketball, super bikes. So that's basically the arcade. Very cool. This is over, sort of in between the Tiki Bar. The Tiki Bar is there. And then this over here is their little uh, shop where you can trade in your points. But they have the Flavortown Camaro. If you're into classic cars, they have one in the building. By the way, the restrooms are right behind the uh, car over there. Those are some of the cleanest restrooms I've ever seen. They're really, really nice. They are fancy. So this is the Tiki Hut area. I'm actually setting up for, uh, they're doing a little uh, photo shoot over here. It was unintentional, but um, here's the Tiki Bar. The little Tiki Hut area is really cool. I like the tables, how they're kind of secluded and rounded off a little bit. That's really nice. They have a huge, large um, section for seating here. If you come in and eat, they've got different sectioned off areas. And the Tiki Bar goes all the way around. <clears throat> and then right over here is Duck Pen Bowling. They have a bowling alley. You can come in and do some duck pin bowling. If you don't know what duck pin bowling is, it's bowling on a miniature version. They have uh, the, the bowling balls are a little smaller. The lane is a little smaller and the pins are a little smaller. But they have all that here. They've got some nice little lounge areas and they have got 14 lanes for you to do your own duck pin bowling. Now, they have one of these at the Country Cascades Resort. We've stayed at that place. Uh, they have one upstairs. It's really nice. They also have one of these up in Gatlinburg as well, where the Gatlinburg Sky Needle is. 
duck pin bowling. This is uh, the duck pin bowling has really grown in popularity recently. It's uh, better for smaller kids. It's easier to operate. Very very cool. All right, so legitimately, uh, Flavor Town. You think what you want about Guy Fieri? I don't particularly watch his shows a whole lot, but the restaurant here is really, really good. Um, the food. I mean, it was for both of our lunch. Uh, Jen got a drink as well. Um, it was like sixty bucks. So yes, it, it's expensive, but that's what you're going to spend anywhere here in Pigeon Forge. This is a tourist town. Most of the restaurants here are tourist traps. That's just the way that everything here is a tourist trap. So just know what you're getting yourself into. This place is fantastic. So no matter what you've heard, what you think, you might want to give this place a shot. You can come here and you can spend a lot of money here. Drinks, arcade, bowling, food. You can spend as much money as you want to spend. Or you can take it easy like we did and just get a meal. But I would definitely highly suggest coming back here and eating for sure. All right, guys, that is it from downtown Flavortown. Jen, what'd you think? It was really good. It's a cool place, too. It is. If I had more money and had more time, we may stay a little longer, but we're up here on a mission, so uh, we It'll just came in for lunch. Yeah, it'll just have to wait. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. It is sunny out here. Yeah, I can't see y'all. <laughs> can't even see the camera. Can't see the camera. We're just, hopefully we're looking at you. If not, well, that's okay, too. Uh, I don't know what I was saying, but anyway. Um, life's hard enough. Yeah, that. Yeah, life's hard enough. Keep it amusing. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.